Hello everyone, welcome to our vlog. This is Mimi Guapa. This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book, Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos even though we're also a little bit full in our schedule because we know that we are enriching somebody's life while you are watching these videos. In less than 10 minutes, your life will be enriched and your connection with Jesus will be stronger as these videos are teaching you how to be a better Christian and a good follower of Christ. Your religious affiliations do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop a closer relationship with Jesus, well, these videos were created especially for you. So, why don't we get on with our reading for today? We have been doing this since June 9, 2022 and know that we will do this again tomorrow. So, I hope that if this is the first time that you've joined us, you can join us again in our next videos. But before we do so with our reading for today, let us seek the Lord in prayer. Shall we all close our eyes and bow our heads as we seek the Lord in prayer? Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything and for all the good things that you have done for us. Thank you for your love and for your compassion, for transforming us to be a better person than we were yesterday. Bless us, O Lord, in our predicaments, in our struggles. Help us to be overcomers in all the fields that we endeavor to excel in. And Lord, may your name be glorified in all the things that we do. Bless us today as we will have our devotional reading. May your Holy Spirit be upon us, that our hearts and our minds will be opened, so that the message will penetrate us and will transform us in our day-to-day -day transactions. Lord, may you help us in our struggles that will be victorious, and that our church leaders and workers, the school leaders, the world builders, and the nation leaders will be inspired also to travel the path of righteousness towards you so that they will lead more people unto your feet. We entrust you our lives, Lord, because on our own we cannot do anything, but apart from you we are nothing. Thank you for your love and for your compassion. This we ask in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. How are you using your talents? October 11 Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Matthew chapter 25 Verses 16 to 18 The knowledge of the truth is altogether too precious to be hoarded up and bound about and hid in the earth. Even the one talent entrusted by the master is to be faithfully employed. God pronounces his blessings upon unselfish and wearied diligence. And though we may have but one talent, and can make but a small investment, yet God will make the effort fruitful in results. The man who works in faith will realize that his intellect, his affections, his whole power belongs to God and he will seek to make diligent use of his powers and will improve his faculties and talents. But instead of realizing that all our faculties belong to God, how many are reckless, little thinking that their influence, their cheap little words, are molding the characters of those with whom they associate and bringing down their minds to a low level. The atmosphere that surrounds the soul is fraught with influence for good or evil. It may be full of poison and malaria, or be fragrant and pure and health-giving. This moral influence will be according to our connection with Christ or our separation from Him who is light and life. Those who are united with Christ will realize that He has given them trust according to their own ability 
and whatever their surroundings, they will consider them favorable for the development of moral character. We are to make the most of every advantage and opportunity. We must train and improve our ability that we may not disappoint our master, but reach the highest possible standard and thus influence others to follow in the footsteps of our example. We may say, neither society nor intimate companions must have their ideas of Christian character cheapened by my course of action. What are you doing with your talents? Are you putting them out to the exchangers? The end for today's reading. So we are to employ whatever gifts and talents we have received from the Lord to glorify His name. That's why we have this devotional reading, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Because I know that I am a little good at reading <laughs> or I am speaking. This is one of my talents. So I am reading for you to glorify the Lord and to further His mission. I may not be the best reader out there, but I have the skill to read, which is not given to everyone. So instead of covering and hiding that ability, why not share it with the people of the world? And that in the same way, they will be blessed as well. So whatever talents you have, whether you are good at singing, whether you are good at writing, whether you are good at reading speak, spoken poetry, and uh, chorus reading, or praying, and a lot more other gifts, may you use them for the glory of God, because those gifts were created and were given unto you so that you will be of use for his ministry you will be of use to further his kingdom so i hope that you are one of those people that will follow the example of the of the keeper of the five talents and the three talents in which they have exchanged and invested their talent for the glory of the lord for the glory of their master and they were rewarded and called good and faithful servant may god bless you my dear brothers and sisters in christ thank you so much for watching until the end of this video for leaving a like for leaving a comment in the section below and for sharing this video to people whom you think will be blessed by the message of the lord and for subscribing in our channel may god bless you always Adieu.